Aloha from Fort Clark, No Springs, Texas. <laughs> my, my drumstick is a Sharpie. Doesn't work too good. But anyway, having said that, today is the first day of the rest of your life. Make it a good one. It's the day after yesterday, day before tomorrow. It is right now, and right now went right on by. So if there's anything you're going to want to do, you better get busy doing it. Also, never worry about what you cannot change. And I have a dog here, Romeo, <laughs> checking you out. And also, uh, somebody sent me a trash can, this thing right here or an old can, it says, uh, anyway, open me and I did, and it, this came from, uh, from, 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 Nellie C, hello Nellie C, it's a cat in a trash can. <laughs> See the cat in the trash can? So anyway, now I have a cat in a trash can and a dog, and what, I got more pets than I need, telling you the truth. But anyway, guys, today is the first day of the rest of your life. Make it a good one. So what else have we got here? Uh, we got a good life. I mean, you know, I've got a Class B motorhome out there that I'm anxious to use. I've ordered the Starlink stuff. And the good thing about the Starlink stuff is that you can pause it. In other words, when you pay, when you buy, order the equipment, you pay for like one month, 150 bucks, which is expensive, I admit that. But you can pause it. In other words, if I, if I go camping for uh, a month, then I pay the 150. But then you can pause it and you don't pay anything until you unpause it. In other words, you can actually schedule it off and on and you don't pay for those periods that it's off. So that's a big plus. So it's not $150 every month. It's $150 every month you're using it, which is a big plus. And also I found out you actually own the equipment and they will allow you to resell it. In other words, you could sell it. Uh, in other words, after the 30 day free look period where you can return it and get a full refund. After that, if you wanted to sell it to somebody, you could. So that's good to know. And anyway, where are we at here? Uh, what's going on today? Oh, you're going to get a couple of uh, solar stuff on the Class B today. Uh, I, I did a couple of videos checking that stuff out. And then what else have we got here? Postcards from Terry. Hello, postcards from Terry. All right. I have the same problem. We'll check back and see how it works for you. That's on the Starlink. This is on the Home Depot Tiny Home. Egro e or Egg Roll blunt if i own an abandoned farm and want this to be my home is that po is this possible now, i don't know where you live but you i'm sure it is you can check and find out but i don't i don't think they could stop you from putting it on your own property jeez i love that tray yeah the bamboo cutlery tray yeah it's it's uh it's neat you know but i just had them lay it in that drawer and they'd always move around i thought rusty get you a tray so I did. Anyway, Bob Steen. Wow, Rusty, the one fart, one knife, one spoon guy has moved up to two of each. Yeah, I know, I'm showing off. This is, that's the way you do. You know, when you have a home like this, very fancy, you know what I mean? Uh, you have to have two forks, two spoons, you know, and, and other stuff. Yeah, I never thought we'd see today. Must be for entertaining at the Sticks and Bricks. Yeah, I entertain a lot, me, myself, and I. This is on the tiny home, Home Depot. Melinda Dobson says, not anymore. It's about 30K now. Uh, yeah, well, I did that video about, I don't know, two years ago, maybe three years ago. And that was a fluke. I mean, I just, I can't believe that was such a popular video. I mean, it was just a spur of the moment. Anyway, enough said. Jessica Penny, that's beautiful. That's on the Red Hot Pokers. I took, I did, I took that in uh I did that video in Capitan, New Mexico, right in front of the Smokey Bear Museum. Uh, well, not the museum, but the office where you pay your ticket. It says, Jessica says, that's beautiful, made me instantly homesick. We have them in South Africa. Thanks for sharing. That's where they came from, South Africa. Magda Starr, thank you for sharing that this wonderful walk. 
Yeah, it is. It's a really pretty morning walk because I get to see the sunrise and all that stuff. And yeah, I, I, I enjoy that. RB says, very nice, very helpful, thanks. That's on Trike Man Returneth. Yeah, we, we, we use the trike every now because I can go down all the trails on the electric trike, but on in the golf cart, the neighborhood vehicle, it's, uh, it's too tall for some of the overhanging trees on the trails, so I'd use it mainly to go to the post office and all this other stuff. Sunshine reminds me when my old high school English teacher passed away 20 years ago. Her neighbor said she had one spoon, one fork, one knife, two dresses, one pair of shoes, a garage kept 1967 Shelby with 3,000 original miles and over half a million in stocks. Well, you know, that's true. I mean, I, there there's a lot of people that do that, old miser types. <clears throat> and, you know, they're, you know, they're just not spendthrifts, you know. RB living with the geezer, keep, keep walking, keep thinking, makes life interesting, safe travels. Yeah, thank you, same to you. Check his channel out on YouTube, RB living with the geezer. Tracy Phillips, heck yeah, Rusty, on the bamboo cutlery thing. You got it, babe, we're, we're, making, we're polishing this diamond right here, and it's, it's looking pretty good to me, babe, I'm telling you. Anyway, let's go. Bob says, Funny thing, I was just watching your video on Starlink from a few years ago. You mentioned Elon dropping the price as the service expanded and the more people subscribed. Too bad it was just wishful thinking. Apparently, yeah, we all know prices only move one way. Yeah, uh, <clears throat> yeah it says uh, we all know prices only, uh, yeah, 600 startup, 150 months is way too much. For internet unless you're a YouTube superstar with deep pockets. Yeah, well, if I was a YouTube superstar with deep pockets, that'd be nice. Scotty Thompson, nice shirt, cool comment call. Thank you, Scotty the Mask Bowler from Wisconsin. Fletch, 001. I have Starlink and I'm, and I'm happy with the service. I've had mine sitting on the ground and it works perf work perfectly. I have since mounted it on my pole barn and have my CCTV cameras network using my SL network. I guess that means Starlink. There is a lot of content on YouTube about Starlink, many tips and tricks, but one of my favorite creators is, and he leaves a link. Yeah, I've got a lot to learn about it, I guess. I mean, it looks pretty simple to me. I mean, I plan to just set it on the ground. I got, and I got an extra 75 feet of uh, that cable for the satellite. It comes, it used to come with 75 feet of cable, and then they cut that back to 50 feet and went up on the price. Now, as far as the price, you know, everything is supply and demand. Right now, Elon has all the supply, or, or Starlink. And, but starting now and uh, in the next few months, Amazon is going to start their uh satellite internet service so I'm, I'm thinking that prices will start to come down I may, again it may be wishful thinking again but I, I think it is because they've already reduced the prices in Europe and other areas so we'll see Maddie Van Halen I'm happy that you're getting Starlink I love my Starlink it allows me to camp in so many more places that I could not before no I hear you man it just it's uh you know I, I could use it here at the house and eliminate the T-Mobile thing and then just put it in the RV when I go. But I'm going to keep the T-Mobile thing and just pause the T-Mobile until I'm ready to go somewhere for a few days and, and then just pay the price, you know what I mean? We'll see. I haven't got it yet. Elaine Tool, love the way your home is coming along. You could definitely fit an electric treadmill in your bedroom. When the weather is unpleasant outside, you can still exercise safely at home. Now that's true, or else I can just walk around in circles outside in the in the in the uh, air airplane cover, <clears throat> whatever you want to call it, hangar. No, I, I I don't want a treadmill, but thank you. My sister had one; she didn't like it. King for a day. Could have sworn you already done this. Didn't like it, and even had issues returning all the gear. I did have issues returning it. There is there is no customer service at all, at all. You can't talk to a human being. Uh-uh. 
No, that is a downside for me. But yeah, that's, what you're saying is correct. Outcast says, I was wondering when you were going to get Starlink. You seem like the perfect candidate for it. A lot of folks living on the road are getting it. Yeah, it's it's uh, certainly worth giving it a try. <clears throat> Elaine Toole says, I wear gilded and t-shirts as a top for my lounging pants around the house here in Florida. They don't hold any heat and feel soft on the skin. I love them too. And they're also cheap. That's the biggest, that's the highlight of them. <laughs> Thank you. Proud Texan, maybe watch a good YouTube video video pro on how to set up Starlink. Might really help you for people with experience setting it up. Actually, it's pretty damn simple, man. It's, you know, you, you take it out of the box and put it on the ground. And that's about plug it in and that's it. You know I mean? It, it uh, yeah, I watched the latest one I could find, the unboxing, done by Starlink. And yeah, it's, it looks pretty simple. Ken PA, we definitely have watched and subscribed and sent money. A lot has changed since this day, huh? I don't remember when that was. That was a video on the tip jar. I don't know what I was doing there. <clears throat> Henri Codger. Nothing better than a good fitting cutlery tray. Yeah, that's right. It's expandable. The sides move out, so it'll fit. Well, it's got, you got to check your drawer to be sure it'll fit. But this is Sanborns. Bamboo is a fantastic material. I have many kitchen, kitchen items made of it. It is a type of grass, harder than most woods and durable. Yeah, I just thought it was neat. Thank you. That was uh, Sanborns. Yeah. No way, Jose. When you turn on Wi-Fi calling, make sure you choose the option to make the phone calls through Wi-Fi instead of cellular. Okay, well, I'm, it, it says of the, uh, the Starlink, well, you can use Wi-Fi calling. I've done Wi-Fi calling before and it did work fine. <clears throat> I, I just put it on Wi-Fi calling and did it. Debbie coming. Lots of 2024 RVs are coming with Starlink, wonderful. Yeah, they're, they're branching out. You know, they sell them now at uh, uh, Best Products or somebody, some one of the stores. So they're, they're really getting out there. Patrick Russell, before you invest, you might want to see how well the federal government is going to string Wi-Fi all over the rural areas under its new infrastructure initiative we are, are all paying for. Well, that doesn't help me, you know, if they put it in these little towns and stuff because the places I'm going to go, there's no little towns around. Patrick Russell, uh, again, sounds like an updated version of Direct TV, except there are more satellites. I have to do more walking like you. Uh, actually, it's a little, it's much different than Direct TV. Direct TV just has a few satellites, and they're way out there, so they don't have to have very many. Same way with Direct TV. <clears throat> Beverly looking good, house broken. Yeah, that's me. LOL, that is a fine place you've got there for your house, RV, golf cart, and trike. Yeah, it is. The cover works great. I, I really like that. Pot, pot hill, oh, port hill, sorry. I guess. Impressive, Rusty, on the bamboo cutlery tray. Thank you. Scotty Thompson, cool video talk. Rusty, thank you, Scotty. Frank H. Well, line of sight might be a problem during the rain, even cloudy days and even blocked by trees. It might be worth in investigating those issues. You know, I, I went, Frank, whenever I'm doing something, I always look at the positive side of it. You know what I mean? I, I want to know how it works, when it works. You know, I, I'm not worried about what causes it not to work, you know, even though it, it, it's really not affected by rain. Now, trees and stuff are, could be an issue, and uh, but when I go camping, I don't go camping in forests, and all I have to do is find a campsite well, the camp places I go to, there aren't any trees anyway, hardly. <clears throat> Miami says, Rusty, I was thinking if you wanted, you could rent a Cloudcroft place for, say, five months instead of seven. Take it easy. I, I could rent it, but I'm, I, no, I don't think you can. I think part of the agreement is you, don't, you can't rent it. You can't sublease. <clears throat> I have to look at my agreement. Kenneth Bode seems to me you had problems with them before and sent it back and i did but you know that's been about two years ago they've come a long way see then 
they didn't have really a mobile setup. Now they do. They have a legitimate RV Starlink, okay? And they have a legitimate RV Starlink monthly price. <laughs> the door, I've had, I have had Starlink since it was in beta and it has been wonderful for, wonderful for me. Very easy to install, no problems for me. You know, those are the kind of comments I like. You know, you know the po positive input. Uh, this is Burl at, what is this? B-U-R-R-E-L-L-L -L -L ad, whatever. Sounds like a good plan. Keep on doing you. I, I plan to for as long as I can. We'll do a few more and then we'll shut it down. This is on Starlink stuff. Jim says, I've had it for two months and love it, love it, love it. Thank you. You just need a clear view of the sky. We are in our fifth year full time while working remote with all three carriers still had limitations on where we could stay. It is going up, uh, it is going to open up places we stay in the future and probably save us money in camping fees. It says initially you're going to need AC power so you have to use inverter when boondocking. You can set up the system to run off 12 volt if that becomes an issue. Plenty of information here on YouTube. No, actually, I, I'm, I'll have 110 available because I got a generator uh, on the RV and, and normally I have, when I go camping, I get, uh, well, actually, if I go boondocking, I'll just have to run the generator <coughs> when I'm using the deal. But that's not a, not a problem because it's only a 2,500 watt uh, generator and uh, you can run it, you know, with a half load. Well, well run it, r using it to run the refrigerator and the uh, Starlink, you know, that'd be like a eighth of a load or whatever it would be. And uh, yeah, that would be, that would give you, you'd use a half gallon about every four hours, you know, it wouldn't, it wouldn't use very much. Thank you, Jim. Uh, two more and we'll shut her down. Michael Kirby, almost time to visit Lost Maples, Fall Foliage and Pernalis Falls plus Oktoberfest coming up next weekend in Fredericksburg. Can you broadcast Beer 30 live via Starlink? I'm sure I could. Schnitzel's and Beer Garden, giddy up and yeehaw, fall almost here, yeah. But you know, Lost Mabel's is packed. Uh, Pam Love, great plan. I've been thinking about Starlink for travel, but the initial startup was a bit rocky. I think they have worked out some of the kinks now. I'll be watching to see how difficult or easy it is to set up and how it works for you in various locations. I don't upload videos, but I do like to watch YouTube and Prime Sports at night. I download library books and shared campground Wi-Fi is too slow. Usually it is. Campground Wi-Fi is crap. Cheap, la cheap Laugh Kennedy says beautiful la laugh, Rusty, or beautiful walk. <laughs> anyway, guys, from Fort Clark's No Springs, Texas, the, the springs have dried up. From, uh, let me get this thing. Thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye bye, buy anything you want, anytime, but if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all of my videos. Why? Because it doesn't cost you one penny. And then what else? Uh, drink plenty of water, three or four quarts a day won't hurt you, it's good for you, help you avoid gout, kidney stones, and also it'll help you lose weight because you'll be full of water and you will not want to eat so much. And then what else? Uh, take deep breaths, breathe in really deep, hold it for a few seconds, breathe out slowly. Why? What does that do? That relieves stress and relieving stress lowers your blood pressure. If you don't believe me, check it out. And then what else? Uh, stretch. Stretch your fingers too. Stretch. 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 Swivel, swivel, swivel. Walk, walk, walk. Pedal, pedal, pedal. Exercise your body once or twice every single day. Why? Because you'll feel better immediately and you may live longer, healthier because of that one thing. And then, most important, stand guard at the door of your mind. This is your head, your brain, your frontal lobes, your consciousness. All those little neurons in there are forming neural links, which is every single thought, dream, memory you have ever had. So give your neurons something positive to work with. Accentuate the positive, eliminate the negative, enjoy your life one day or one moment at a time. At ease, carry on, adios, bye-bye, hasta luego, vaya con Dios, aloha until the next video. On and on we go, guys. Life's good. Starlink's coming. <laughs> Lights are on the tree. Bye-bye.